Good morning, folks. We've got several items to discuss in today's show. Solar flares, the CME impact we've been expecting, a strange new look to a comet, a baby solar system, and climate science as well. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and the sun spent most of the last day relatively quiet, but has roared to life a bit this morning, with solar flares and the peak one hitting M4 class at the northern active region departing top right. There does not appear to be any further CME activity heading our way from the flare events. One of the other flaring regions might be a different story, however, in the coming days. South of the incoming plasma filament on the north, the sunspot group is getting fidgety and has had several pops over the last day. We'll have to monitor both that group and the plasma filament to the north of it as they face Earth. You'll recall we had a CME released a few days ago, and it was expected to provide a minor impact to Earth middle of this week. The models had predicted a four-day travel time, meaning it would hit tonight or tomorrow, but that's also extremely slow, and indeed, it appears to have struck already. Solar wind telemetry shows the impact happening last night, and upon its impact, the global magnetometer readings began their sharper deviations, which ended up resulting in very low-level geomagnetic storm activity. No concern here, but a good look at how it's very hard to predict the timing of these events. Folks, a new comet is making headlines for its strange appearance. Comet 12P Pons Brooks is north of the solar system, heading down for a close approach, cutting between the orbits of Earth and Venus. There is no chance of impact, but its latest images show horn-shaped tail features, and it will be a naked-eye comet just a few days before the 2024 eclipse in April of next year. We're likely to revisit this one over the months ahead, but right now we're going out to a baby solar system. The stellar ignition was not terribly long ago, but now they're seeing spiral arms within the dusty disk around it and fragmentation of those arms into planets. For those who saw last night's video on planetary formation, the electromagnetism makes the arms and the resonance breaks them up at the right locations. It was a good one last night. Lastly here, folks, climatologists are catching up, saying the Atlantic overturning circulation is due to shut down this century. They still have it too far out into the future, but they are getting better since they used to think it couldn't possibly shut down until next century. And as we've said many times, and as was confirmed in this study just a few weeks ago, that is one of the signals of the cooling shift in dansgaard oeschger events, a major cyclical event coming and part of the major changes on deck for this planet. We greatly appreciate your support. We have lots of excellent resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.